Hey, it's Lamar Scholl. Welcome to the mini series, Seven Challenges Affiliate Marketers Are Faced With. Maybe you're going through some of these right now. So in this video, we're gonna talk about getting traffic to your website, whether that's a landing page, a squeeze page, whatever you wanna call it, or maybe a product page that you may have. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go and take you through, I'm gonna talk about a strategy and how you should set this up as traffic comes in, no matter whether it's free traffic or paid traffic. I wanna get into those in a second here. If this is something, you know, that you want to learn and you like. I got more videos. This is just one video of the mini series. Just, you know what? Subscribe down below. You know, hit that subscription button there. Yeah, you got it. And hey, you know what? While you're at it, I got other videos coming out in this mini series. You know, just tap ever so lightly that notification bell. I almost forgot the name of it. That's why it took me so long. All right, but anyhow, let's you and I not waste any more time let's do this thing all right so there's different types of traffic there's free traffic or organic traffic which is the same and then there's different types of paid traffic this could come from PPC so that stands for pay-per-click that would be something like running if you're running a Google search ad so every time somebody clicked on your ad in that search you pay you know either as low as 35 cents a click all the way up to seven ten dollars a click it depends on your keyword and all this and there's other pay-per-click methods as well another one that works out really well speaking of Google is you know you can advertise on YouTube you've probably seen those too many all too many times right where that ads comes up in the beginning of the video call that an in-stream ad and there's all types of ads that you can do just around YouTube videos and there's many other places there's a bunch of display networks right so this will be like your ad will go out on different blog posts web pages things like that whether it be native it could be a banner ad there's all kinds of pop-up ads push ads I mean there's just so many right so there's a diverse there's a wide array of traffic now you probably hear of Google and Facebook all the time and social media I'm here to tell you there's many many other sources of paid traffic and I actually put a book together sorry I got to put this shameless plug in there I created a PDF where I show you 55 I, there's more than that 55 plus paid traffic sources that will blow your mind and I don't talk about Facebook I don't talk about Google in there I don't talk about any social media sites not that those are bad but I always like to find some other way to do things a little different it's kind of like you know if I'm on a long trip somewhere I mentioned this in the book too that you know the highway it's it's good it gets you where you're going but it's kind of boring right you, you, you just there's just nothing to see sometimes it's nice to just scoot off one of those exits and take the back road so these are more like not obscure but less known traffic sources that I actually use so but those again would be PPC or you might pay per view right uh, there's all these different types the other one I want to touch on real quickly here is free traffic SEO search engine optimization now this is also good because you want to use both paid and free in your business you can't expect free to be nearly as fast as paid it's not right this fr free is what you want to do in addition to running paid for sure um, you can use SEO which is what you want to do I don't know much about SEO so I would you know you know have that <laughs> sorry I would just third party that right I'd find somebody that would set up my site for SEO but if you know how to do SEO great I definitely go more the way of paid traffic because like I said it's faster and to me it's just like you know I just offload that workload right like just outsource that work boom just send it to Google or whoever right and 
just forget about that as that's running i can stay and do whatever i want you know my business or whether i want to go out and enjoy the day right that's what's kind of cool um what i want to do though is show you exactly how you should set up your business i got a quick skit a little diagram i put together here i'm going to show it to you right now it doesn't matter what type of traffic you're running whether you're getting traffic from social media whether you're getting traffic from google or linkedin or youtube whether you're getting seo traffic free free organic traffic whether you run a quick ad on some display network somewhere you should always 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 did i say always be setting your funnel up very similar to what i'm showing you on this page this red over here represents the different traffic sources so you won't have just one coming in you could have many of these things coming in right but any of that traffic that you bring in, you want to take them to like a landing page or a squeeze page or a capture page. These go by many names, but they do the same thing. And all the person is doing, the visitor, when they come here, is entering their information. Obviously, email. And then if you want to collect their name, a phone number or address information, that's what these pages are for. Just remember, the more information you're requesting from that visitor, the fewer opt-ins. That means the fewer people that are going to actually sign up and enter that information, right? So to just only collect what you need. So if you don't need the phone number, don't collect it. Literally, if you don't need their name, don't collect that either. The fewer bits of information, the easier, the, the, the less that barrier is that you're putting up, right, that they have to get to. Because the only purpose of this page is to get them on to your email list so that you can market to them through emails. And also, you kind of warm them up to the next page you're going to take them to, a sales page. But you can also, with this landing page, take them to one of your videos or you can take them to a blog post. It doesn't have to be a sales page, but the idea is exactly the same. Every time when somebody opts in, they give you their information, they hit that CTA button, call to action button on that page, then you will add them to your email list. So this could be AWeber, Active Campaign, Get Response. There's many, many, many autoresponders out there. I actually personally use Act, um, AWeber right now. I've used a few in the past before, but I think AWeber for the cost and scalability is probably, to me, in my opinion, one of the best. Um, not to say it's the only one, but I have them now, and every time a, a visitor comes in and they opt in, they automatically will get sent out emails. It's called a campaign or follow-up series. This is kind of nice. So I've had these emails previously written, already composed. So these value, these emails, I just simply offer value, value, value on them. And this is to help warm that lead up to get them to know me better and what I'm about. And if you're not doing this right now, you, you're you wasting, a, you know, you're just leaving a lot of money on the table, right? You want to be able to, because nobody buys the first time around. That's what this is all about. You need to get be seen again and again, right? Because you got to keep getting out in front of them every day. And that's the other thing. You don't want to make your emails spammy and always talking about the same thing. I definitely, definitely mix it up. So in this email series here, I will take them to maybe at the first it will be to my offer page so it would be this sales page again because this is what they saw previously so the next day they'll see that sales page maybe here i might take them to one of my videos maybe here possibly back to the sales page or blog page right i just kind of mix it up but i'm educating 
them the whole time they're going through this series. I'm offering value in these emails. But this automatically goes out 24-7. I have not, you know, it's all set up on automation. This is all done by any of the, um, <laughs> sorry, the autoresponders. So an autoresponder is just your email system. Like I mentioned before about uh, Aweber or Active Campaign or Get Response, any of these. So this is exactly what you'd be doing. A lot of people are running traffic directly to the sales page, but now you don't capture their information. And you might get some sales up on the front end. That's a good thing. But most of your sales are gonna come through your email marketing. Now again, I gotta throw out another shameless plug here. I created a full, complete, email marketing course it's called e easy emails like a boss you can go to easy emails like a boss.com boom just sign up it's free there's over 30 something videos there now i've been adding more as i've been going along here and i will show you exactly from ground zero how to create your autoresponder and how to create this a campaign like these four emails here are called a campaign I also broadcast to my list. I segment my list. I, you know, I kind of um, clean, keep my list clean. I get rid of people that are not looking at my emails, so my open rates stay up. And you'll learn all this in easy emails like a boss. All right, I get a little carried away about getting traffic, but in this video, I just really want you to know that there are many, many, many ways to get traffic other than what you probably hear day in and day out uh, just like going to social media relying on that or maybe you know google now google's definitely the biggest there's no doubt i think they've got eight, i don't know what the exact number is i'm just making this up but it's huge like around 80 percent of the whole internet or something it's just incredible right um and the other thing i didn't mention earlier all traffic sources are not the same you have to realize that and the importance to getting the right visitors and you need to get targeted traffic. This is another key thing. I kind of got off sidetracked a little too much on really the diagram, but if you're confused, just go back and watch that again because make sure you are collecting people's information, visitors, so they can, when they opt in, so that you can further send them emails because I'm telling you, that's really what, this is, that's the best way to do it. And it doesn't matter what traffic source it is. And the other thing you want to keep in mind, I kind of interrupted myself once again, is make sure it's targeted traffic. Not everybody, believe it or not, no matter how good your product is, it's not for everyone. So you don't want to sit there and get traffic from or try to get everybody in. You want to get the people that are interested. We talked about a niche in the last video. And that's, right, this is where... It's a group of common people that have an interest in something. That's exactly the people that you want to get. So whatever your niche is, those are the people that you want to get in. So if you're in, like we talked about weightlifting, not just weightlifting, but say, weight, you know, um, supplements, right? That's the people that you want to get in your track, you know, into your show to your web page. So when you set up your ads, this is how you're going to use keywords to get just the exact right people. This is where Google comes in very, very handy. You can easily get right down to, you know, the exact keywords and get traffic in. So those are the highly targeted people. And that's exactly who you want to see hitting your landing page because they already have an interest in what you have. All right. I hope you got some value out of this video. Look, if I missed something because I kind of went off, you know, and I, yeah, I, I do that once in a while. I kind of rambled on. But if I miss something and you still have a question kind of on getting traffic to your webpage, just drop me a comment down below. I'll make sure that I answer it. And guess what? I'm going to see you on the next one. All right. I get a little carried away about getting traffic. But in this video, I just really want you to know that there are many, many, many ways to get traffic other than what you probably hear day in and day out. 
on just like going to social media, relying on that, or maybe, you know, Google. Now, Google's definitely the biggest. There's no doubt. I think they've got, eight, I don't know what the exact number is. I'm just making this up, but it's huge. Like around 80% of the whole internet or something. It's just incredible, right? Um, and the other thing I didn't mention earlier, all traffic sources are not the same. You have to realize that and the importance to getting the right visitors and you need to get targeted traffic. This is another key thing. I kind of got off sidetracked a little too much on really the diagram, but if you confuse, just go back and watch that again because make sure you are collecting people's information visitors so they can when they opt in so that you can further send them emails because i'm telling you that's really one. this is that's the best way to do it and it doesn't matter what traffic source it is and the other thing you want to keep in mind i kind of interrupted myself once again is make sure it's targeted traffic not everybody believe it or not no matter how good your product is it's not for everyone so you don't want to sit there and get traffic from or try to get everybody in you want to get the people that are interested we talked about a niche in the last video and that's right this is where it's a group of common people that have an interest in something that's exactly the people that you want to get so whatever your niche is those are the people that you want to get in so if you're in like we talked about weightlifting not just weightlifting but say weight you know um, supplements right that's the people that you want to get in your track you know into your show to your web page so when you set up your ads this is how you're going to use keywords to get just the exact right people this is where Google comes in very, very handy. You can easily get right down to, you know, the exact keywords and get traffic in. So those are the highly targeted people. And that's exactly who you want to see hitting your landing page because they already have an interest in what you have. All right. I hope you got some value out of this video. Look, if I missed something because I kind of went off, you know, and I, yeah, I, I do that once in a while. I kind of rambled on. But if I miss something and you still have a question kind of on getting traffic to your webpage, just drop me a comment down below. I'll make sure that I answer it. And guess what? I'm going to see you on the next one.